This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Woldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. Good morning and welcome to Strictly Business. My name is Nick Ortiz. I'm the president and CEO of the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce, and we are back with Strictly Business. Um, I am joined today by Louis Amistoy, who is the vice president of content for the Bakersfield Californian. Uh, later in the show, we'll be talking to Kathy Reheis Boyd, who is the president of the Western States Petroleum Association, about some bills that are uh, quite uh, the heated debate in Sacramento this week. And we'll uh, also be hearing from my colleague, Hillary Haynes, from the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce on what's going on at the chamber, what we're doing, and how you can get involved. But welcome, Lewis. Thank Thanks you. for having us back on Strictly Business. Thanks for coming back. Yeah. So those of you who, you know, were, were viewers of ours probably noticed we took a bit of a hiatus. Um, we've been off for about six weeks and we are now back um, and we're going to be doing a, a, a twice a month show. Um, not every week. We're we're not going to be on Mondays. I don't know about you, Lewis, but Mondays are brutal for Mondays me. Mondays are brutal. <laughs> Monday mornings um, are a tough time to do a show, and I think a tough time to watch a show. So we're going to try to do Wednesday mornings, and um, we're going to try to do um, a show that we think brings you uh, interesting topics about business, um, what's trending right now, um, what's going on in our community, um, but also um, focus on newsmakers and try to make some news as well on on our show. And um, we're just really excited about the opportunity to be back and to, to, to partner with the Californian to produce a show for, for our members in the broader business community. Uh, a, a thing that we'll be talking about uh, in the last segment with Hillary is uh, kind of the new format of the show. We'll be doing one show every month where uh, we have guests and it's more like the strictly business that uh, those of you who tuned in before saw. And then we'll be doing um, a webinar format uh, the third Wednesday of every month. And um, we're going to try to expand our reach with our business education programs and, you know, offer something that is convenient to our members, convenient to business owners, um, so that they can use it, um, you know, really whenever they, they want to and not necessarily have to come to a, a brick and mortar webinar format. So we noticed that a few, uh, was it a week ago or two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Uh, Tom Saba and Cal Sherm did a webinar uh, here in the studios, turned out very well. And, you know, I think that it's a great format and we'd like to explore it going forward. Yeah, I mean, I think what, um, you know, this the, th the exciting thing about this this uh, show has always been the upside of the, the sort of what we call the long tail of the content. Mm -hmm. And so the content that we build in this show, you may not be able to watch the show live, but you can watch the show on demand, or um, you can you can you can get it in in chunks or in mm -hmm. segments. And I think the the partnership between the Californian and the Chamber as a content content uh, companies are very very important because the Chamber has a very unique audience, a very a very specialized audience. And what we're trying to do here is help you guys reach that audience because you know working folks are busy; they may not be able to get out to. Uh, uh, to be in at an event. And uh, one of the things that I think that Tom Saba and the Saba agency did so well was they really evangelized the importance of this um, this event they did with Cal Sherm and Katie Radis, who's a yep. local attorney mm -hmm. and an HR specialist. And a chamber member. Chamber member <laughs> and just a great speaker. And mm -hmm. she's with Season Susco. Uh, it was their other speaker as well. And they were so on top of it um, that not only was it was it sort of inside baseball mm -hmm. uh, as far as the HR world? But it was just good content that anybody who was, would stop by and watch that show really would have taken away a lot of things uh, because the you know HR world is so important to how yeah. we operate in California yeah. from a business perspective. So I'm looking forward to what we're going to be able to develop in the coming um, coming months and. You know, with the seminar approach is a great opportunity. We're going to do those around lunchtime, yeah. so people can you know take a minute and view it. Um, they'll be able to view it on their mobile devices, and uh, we're going to write uh, stories out of those as well, and so you get a recap of, of of all the activities. And this is kind of like where I envision us going with our live video efforts, so that the user or the reader or the uh, or the viewer has multiple choices yeah. uh, to do that. Yeah, I think we're all so interested in content that's on demand. I mean, yeah. that is really where the world is going. We 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 don't have the time to really, 
you know, uh, carve out in our schedules uh, time to go sit in a seminar if you can get the information on the web or through some other source. Right. And when you look at our education programs, I mean, and, and, and they have performed well for years, but I mean, they really were designed in the late 80s, early 90s in a, you know, iPhone free, BlackBerry right, free right. culture, business culture, where you could, you know, carve out that time because you weren't constantly communicating with the office. You weren't constantly expected to be, you know, giving feedback to bosses, clients, et cetera. So I think the demands on business people um, have gotten greater. And this is one way and appreciate the opportunity to, to partner with the California and to serve our members and serve the broader business community. Yeah. And, and I think this is one of the things that we, we're, we're taking a lot of pride in, in being involved with with the chamber. And moving forward is is developing these sort of content strategies, working closely together because you know content now is so is so is consumed in so many different ways. It's just incredible on in how people uh, access it. And you know we've got YouTube, we got mm-hmm. Facebook, mm-hmm. Twitter, Instagram, uh, the, the paper itself. I mean we've got so many different avenues where we distribute content to at this point. And the same thing is true of, of the chamber. And and this is what's going to be. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. And we also have this great base of, of from the previous show, which we did for a year and a half uh, as well. I mean, so many great guests were in the yeah. studio and doing things. I'm looking forward to what we're going to we're gonna cook up, uh, especially when those webinars hit. Yeah, definitely. So look forward to that, and we'll talk more about that later in the show. You mentioned social media, and I know that you guys have a large social media presence. We were talking before the show about, um, and you can look on my feeds to see some of the interesting things that my kids have been saying, <laughs> my, my toddlers. <laughs> Have been saying you get feed, you get a lot of feedback on that. Yeah, I think so. I'm getting, yeah. getting a lot of parenting advice right. for, for kids saying bad words right. over the last couple of days. I, I pretty much <laughs> discovered that on my Facebook page that you know if you talk about you know curating your audience and yep. developing your audience. If I put a photo, I have a grandson who's a year old, and I put a picture of him, ba boom, yep. you know, there's a hundred likes or something like that. Yep. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting to experiment with yourself, you know, yep. personally and who your audience is there, yep. and then to extend that to your business practice yep. as well because I think that's. There, there's been a good conversation about, you know, with businesses, you know, do they want to have, do your customers want to have a relationship with you? Do they, do they care about you? And I would say that we have several, several instances in, in this area where I think they do. Mm-hmm. And people do want to have a relationship with businesses. They want to have a positive image of businesses. You know, one of the things like uh, our the sponsor of the show, San Joaquin Community Hospital does, they have these great seminars themselves. And we've been involved with helping them live stream some of those as well. And, you know, they do a great job of outreach. They do a great job of, of, of stimulating conversation. You know, sometimes using social media, sometimes using traditional means. But everything is sort of in there. Mm-hmm. And it's such a key part for businesses. You look at what the Bakersfield Condors have done in social media. It's absolutely incredible. It's incredible from a sports information standpoint. But it's also incredible from a business development standpoint. Definitely. That they have all these thousands of people that, uh, that uh, participate in their, their social media. Salty's Barbecue has, I think... 17,000 yes. uh, Facebook f- <laughs> uh, friends. Since uh, the Food Network uh, yeah. uh, they were program. Hot. Yeah. yeah, I think they were hot <laughs> before then, and now they're even hotter. Yeah. And, you know, now they can now they can directly reach, you know, a huge number of people. And, I, and any business, I think, that thinks that social media doesn't play a role in that or is not important, um, yeah. you, you, really ha- you really need to take a look at it and, and tell your story. And I, I've, I've done that my seminar myself. I've done it to um, CPAs and, mm-hmm. and other, uh, you know, sort of professionals where, you know, they may not think of social media as a tool they can use, but it's like, uh, you don't have it. Yeah, you're not. You're not. You're really, missing you're out. You're missing sure. out. You yeah. really are. And really, I think you know it, it's interesting. You know the platforms and how you use them. I mean, my my personally, I use Facebook more for personal stuff, for right. fun, for about my kids and the funny things they say or the funny faces they make or first day of school. Uh, but I use Twitter more for business right. and for issues and for talking about things that directly relate to what I do for a living. Right. And I think that that's that's interesting and in how you know we're seeing kind of platform discrimination or platform kind of, yeah. you know, honing how what your message is depending on what platform you're using. And I sort of, and, and I think one thing that people forget about Facebook, it's interesting, is that you can actually drill Facebook down yes. uh, into, into avenues where, you know, if you don't want people to see your kid pictures, yeah. you can drill that down. You can have separate groups of friends who see this and the groups of friends that see that. A lot of people, a lot of people take advantage of that. So kind of put everything out there. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, my audience and my Facebook page is a lot of it's family and friends. A lot of it, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's shocking how many high school friends I have. On Facebook. <laughs> it's, 
Unbelievable. I think I have like 350 high school friends That's on, hilarious. on Facebook. <laughs> but um, and it's great. I love, all, I love every single one of them, and, and they're, 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 they're all terrific and doing well, or some of them are not doing well, and they'll let, <laughs> let it be known. And, and, uh, but, we, we, but I also have you know, a lot of professional things. And yeah. I, I'm like you. I use Twitter almost entirely for professional outreach. I use LinkedIn now quite a bit. Uh, Instagram is really fascinating for us. Our, our high school sports vertical that we use here, um, we have a very powerful, we have almost 4,000 followers now on, which are all kids for yeah. the most part. Um, it's the one area where we re- totally reach the, reach the young people. Um, so uh, we, 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 we've, we've been experimenting with Snapchat. We've been mm-hmm. experimenting uh, with Vine. We, you know, everything we, 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 we experiment with a little bit to see what business uses we could find for this particular tool. Mm-hmm. And for us as a content company, it's, it's, not, it's, it, there's a, it's kind of fun to have all those options. Definitely. Well, uh, stay with us. We're going to take our first break, and we will be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for staying and tuning in to Strictly Business.